Pressure, pressure, pressure. Whatever happened to life? How do you spell happy, teacher? I mean, what's all that about? Do we ever talk about that? Are you happy? Are you fulfilled? You know, pe people, we have these um, measurements of success that are sold to us that we take on, and they're all about more. More and more and more. How more, many more people are this? How many more people are that? How many more people are this? How many more people have passed degrees? How many more people have got a mortgage? How many more people? And yet, it's the other way tells the real story. How few people are unfulfilled. How few people are under stress. How few people are ill. How few people are homeless. How few people are terrified of the future. These are the, the measurements of a success of society, surely. Not more and more and more. You know, we have, we have an economic system, which I call take, make and throw away, where the whole thing of success is called economic growth, is how fast you can take from the earth, turn it into things, sell more things, throw away more things and start again. The faster you do that, the more successful you are. We call it the cutting edge of human society. It's turn, turning the, 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 the planet into a shite hole. And we have um, the cleverness up to a point, although if we went to wisdom, we would find that technologically we would advance by enormous strides. But we have the cleverness through mind at the moment to create some amazing technology. Things that could make the world a better place for everybody. But we use that technology to pepper bomb cities full of civilians. We are now such at the cutting edge of human evolution that we can kill more people than ever before and we do we're in a world where it seems okay for children to sign their names on bombs that then drop and kill other children like I say we think the world is sane well we people in this room don't but so many people do when it is utterly insane. And what keeps people from understanding this? The constant hypnotic trance that we put in. You are feeling sleepy. Tick tock, tick tock. You don't want to know about pepper bombing cities. Watch this, shut up. Quick honey, uh, she's going for the car. Whoa. We live in a world of plenty, and yet people starve for the want of the basics. We have food galore in some parts of the world, which comes often from the parts of the world that go hungry. And we throw away more food than most people eat in many, many months. I've seen this, I've seen this in Ecuador people living on rubbish tips waiting for the uh, vans to come from the Western hotels to pour the, 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 the rubbish food, throwing away food on and then they go and eat for the day from it. The world that we have allowed to happen. But don't look at that. Tick tock, tick tock. Look at this. Shut up. Hey, quick honey, the Steelers are going to score. Cool, yeah, yeah. I've got nothing against that, I love sport. But if we are in a situation where that becomes the focus of our reality at the exclusion of everything else, then while we're looking here, hell is going on here to stitch us up in the way that we have been. Oh, shut up, what's on the telly, honey? And then we, 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 we drop bombs on the most crowded piece of land on the earth, Gaza. We protect ourselves, that's what we do. We do it to protect ourselves, apparently. This is what we do. This is liberation. Hey, liberation. And it's been going on. This is, this is Vietnam. In the 20th century, humans killed well in excess of a hundred million other humans in wars and conflicts. And it's still going on. Tick-tock, tick-tock, but well, you don't want to see that. 
Hey, quick honey, Paris Hilton's off naked in the back of a limousine. Come and look, it's really good. And that's the, uh, that's the new religion. Instead of living life, hey, this is me, I'm going to live my life. Ooh, isn't that she got a nice dress on that, 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 that show, isn't she, and stuff. Oh, look, she's going to marry so-and-so. Oh, they've been divorced, yeah. It's the new religion, the celebrity, the religion of celebrity. I'm just in the supermarket. Oh, yeah, I'm getting some beans. They're up there. They don't have to shop in the supermarket because they're different. And then we have a situation where we have a system called money, which is based on money that has never, does not, and will never exist. Steps back in amazement, say it again, I didn't quite catch that. We have become so divorced from the world that we live in that most people never ask the simple question, what is money? When you go into a bank and you ask for a loan, $50,000 or something, what does the bank do? It does nothing. In terms of moving precious metal anywhere, printing money, anything. It just types into your account $50,000. And from that moment on, you start paying back interest, and eventually the principal, if you're lucky, on the $50,000. Because the same people have controlled the politi politicians and the governments have controlled banks, Legislation's been passed which allows banks to lend at least 10 times, and my God, it's at least 10 times what they have on deposit. So every time you put a dollar in a bank, you're giving them to, the, the uh, right, legally, to lend 10, 9, 10 dollars. And interestingly, um, when you, say, take out a loan for $50,000, that $50,000 has been given to your computer screen on the basis of someone else putting a fraction of that in the bank. And then you take that $50,000 and maybe you, you, you give someone $20,000 to buy something. They'll take that $20,000, which has already been created out of nothing, and they'll put it in another bank. Now the $20,000 from the original $50,000 gives this bank the right to lend 10 times the $20,000. And so it goes on. What a, a bank can create out of nothing and charge interest on to the population from one dollar or a hundred dollars or whatever the figure is is fantastic and we don't ask questions i've talked to economists you know who earning cuckoo land amounts of money on the telly and stuff i say what is money how is it created they can't tell you they never thought about it it's just there it's government mm. no it's the DNA of this society which holds this, size, this society more than anything else in so many ways on a physical level in servitude. Money created out of nothing called debt, credit, which we then spend the rest of our lives paying back. But don't look at that. Don't let them know that. Tick, tick, tick. Hey, quick, honey, it's the Jerry Springer show. This man's going to punch his girlfriend. Come and look, honey. These are all the diversions, constantly. And then, of course, these people will tell you all the news that those that own the media want you to believe is true. It's what news is. And the whole uh, foundation of all of it is be afraid, be very afraid, the big bag monster is coming as soon as we've invented him. Keep people in fear. Keep people in uh, states of stress. And crucially, this will have implications as we go through the day, keep them in a state of surviving. Because while they're doing that, they will be in a state of focus on survival rather than looking at the big picture of what's going on.